Yes. Hello from Taiwan, from Minchuan University. I hope you are what you have been waiting for this orientation for quite a while. <laughs> we know that. So the following presentation will talk about uh, the entry procedures for international degree seeking students admitted for the September admission 2022 to MCU. So please, if you have any questions, please write it down in the comments, okay? Write down your questions and uh, we will get back to you. Our teachers will be replying to you online at the same time. So Minchuan University was founded in year 1957. That was around 66, 60, yeah, 65 years ago. I'm not good at numbers, but anyway, it's been a decade. We have two campuses. The one in Taipei is right in the downtown area, Taipei Metro Station, Jiantan Metro Station. And the one in Taoyuan is very close to Taoyuan International Airport. So you see the pictures on your left-hand side are Taoyuan campus, a wide view with a field truck. On your right-hand side is Taipei campus. Taipei campus is a little bit smaller because it's built on the hills. So you can see the stairs. Yes, you have to climb the stairs in Taipei campus, but don't worry, we do have elevators. Yes, we have elevators in Taipei campus. So if you are not uh, good at climbing the steps, don't worry, you can, take, you can wait in a long queue for the elevators. Yes, in Taipei campus. And in Minchuan, total we have 11 schools. School of Management, Communication, and Law are located in Taipei, Taipei. And the rest of the schools are located in Taoyuan, including IT, Finance, Technology, Design, Health, Education, and Applied Languages, Tourism, Social Sciences. And then you see the bottom one, International College. Yes, I know. Most of you, the international students who speak English are assigned to International College, a completely English instructed college. And International College, IC, we call it IC, uh, is located <coughs> in both Taipei and Taoyuan campuses. So it depends on your majors. It depends on which programs you belong to. So total student number, we have more than one, uh, actually 18,970 students number. As I told you, I'm not good at number, but you can see clearly on this page. And then we have more than 1,111 degree seeking international students in Minchuan University and almost 3,000 to 4,000 students from outside of Taiwan. Okay, so in Taipei campus, which majors do we have? School of Management, Communication and Law. International College, you see the bottom. We have International Business and Trade, Journalism, Mass Communication, Fashion and Innovation Management, International Affairs. Yes, those are English taught undergraduate programs of IC. Uh, International Affairs, a master degree program also located in Taipei. And in the, at the top, you see management school, we have IMBA. Yes, IMBA is taught in English, also located in Taipei. Okay, next page. In Taoyuan campus, we also have IC, International College, Applied Computing or IC Management, Travel and Tourism, International Affairs and Diplomacy are located in Taipei. English Department, Oh, sorry, in Taoyuan. Sorry, I mixed up in Taoyuan campus. You see the programs on this page, all located in Taoyuan campus. English department, bachelor degree, master degree taught in English, also located in Taoyuan campus. Yes, for international students, for all the arriving international students, you have to go through a total of seven days prevention, I mean, uh, quarantine period, including three day in home quarantine and four day self-initiated epidemic prevention. It sounds very complicated, but anyway, you have to be quarantined in a quarantine hotel for a total of 
seven days. And this PowerPoint, I know some of you are maybe you're busy, you know, writing down all the details, but don't worry, you can download this PowerPoint from our website. So after today's presentation, we will upload the PPT to our office website, office website news. So you can download it and you can also watch this meeting, meeting recording again. We will upload the link for you. So you can remind yourself what should be done in the following weeks. So we follow the instructions of the Ministry of Education, MOE, MOI, Ministry of Education of Taiwan Government, MOI. So we can start the entry procedures for international degree seeking students in this September semester. So all Mintuan and all the international students, we all have to follow the instructions and the measures of the Central Epidemic Command Center, CECC, of Taiwan government. And these measures are subject to change based on the latest instructions. So don't worry, again, we, if we have any latest development about the entering procedures, we will keep you informed. We will tell you what should be done or what should not be done. And this is a very important reminder. You have to prepare yourself a functional mobile phone, a compatible and fully functional mobile phone is very, very important for your quarantine requirement. And it must be on 24 seven. Yes, you must make sure your mobile phone is on 24 seven during the quarantine period. You cannot switch it off or you cannot put it in airplane mode. Please pay attention, this is very important. Otherwise, you will be visited by the police officers of Taiwan government. Yes, you will hear a knock on your door if you switch your mobile phone off. Yes, it's a very serious situation. Please don't do that. If you fail to abide by the regulations of Taiwan government, you will be fined. Yes, a very, very serious penalty for violators. So you see, this is the amount of penalty for violators. All right, so don't do that, students. Please follow the guidelines. So how to calculate seven-day quarantine period? Three-day quarantine in hotel. The day of your flight arrival counts day zero. The day of your arrival counts day zero. And day one start from the next morning, day one. So day one to day three, you are quarantined in a quarantine hotel. And then day four to day seven, four, five, six, seven, you are in four days self-initiated epidemic prevention, okay? And then in the morning of day eight, if everything is all right, if you feel, um, no problem, you feel very healthy, then you can leave, you can check out the quarantine hotel. You can move into the dormitory or move in your private apartment, okay? So this page shows you how to calculate a period of seven day quarantine. Remember the day of your arrival counts day zero, okay? So at the airport, you will be given two home test kits. Okay, two home test COVID tickets, uh, two COVID-19 home test kits at the airport. Please keep them safely. If you lose them, then you have to buy additional home test kits by yourself. All right. So visa application. Yes, now all the students, you can go ahead and apply for your Taiwan visa and you need an official letter issued by the Ministry of Education, MOI of Taiwan government. So you should have received uh, the information by email by now. If your MCU offer letter is dated before August 5th, dated before, before August 5th, then you can click to download the MOI official letter for your visa application. Yes, for your visa application in your home country, please contact the Taiwan representative office, the Taiwan embassy, 
in your home country about visa application. So this is the link. We already set it up for you. If your MCU offer letter is dated between August 15 to August 18, actually this week, if you just receive your offer letter this week from Minchuan, then please wait for a couple of days, okay? We will let you know the MOE official letter soon, all right? So students, contact the Taiwan Embassy or the Taipei Re Representative Office near your place in your home country right now and tell them you would like to apply for a visa and ask the staff what kind of documents are required for applying a visa, okay? And you will be requested to show the MOIS official letter for your visa application. So remember the previous page, you have to click in to download the MOI official letter by yourself so that you can apply for a visa. So after you receive the visa, after, remember, after you receive the visa, please, please do contact MCU Office of International Student Service or ISS office. Please contact the teachers at OIS's office by email. When you write your email, please tell us your passport names and please email us your Taiwan visa page. Okay? And then OIS's teachers will add you to their line group and they will help you. They will explain to you how you can book the flight to Taiwan and how you can arrange your quarantine hotel. So remember, as soon as the moment you receive your Taiwan visa, please email contact OIS's office, okay? Let us know your passport and let us know your Taiwan visa page. And when you log in your LINE account, please log in with your email. Yes, log in with your email. Because when you arrive in Taiwan, you should be able to log in the same LINE account if you switch to a Taiwanese mobile SIM card. So just in case that you use the mobile phone you brought from your home country and you need to log in the same LINE account, please do not use your mobile number to log in. Please use your email account, your personal email account to log in your line, okay? This is very important, students. Please remember. And then add OIS's teachers to your line friends list and stay in touch. So who should I contact? The OIS's office teachers. If you are in Taipei, if you belong to Taipei campus, please contact OIS's office, Miss Crystal and Miss Nancy. Okay, Crystal and Nancy will be your contacts in Taipei campus. And if you are studying in Taoyuan campus, then contact Miss Betty and Miss Teresa. So Miss Betty and Teresa are responsible for you if you are studying in Taoyuan campus. Okay, remember to email them. When you are writing your email, please be polite, students. Please tell us who you are, okay? Because we are receiving so many emails every day. For us to identify who you are quickly, please, in your email, tell us who you are and maybe your application number, where you're from, okay? So we can help you much quickly. When we have your visa information or when we have your flight itinerary, we will help you to apply for entry permit certificate with Ministry of Education, okay? About the quarantine hotel. After you have your Taiwan visa, please contact OIS's teachers immediately. The Google form by uploading your passport copy, your visa page, and your quarantine hotel information and your flight schedule. Yes, through this Google form, you have to upload your information about arriving in Taiwan, your passport, your visa, your hotel information, and your flight schedule. 
everything you have to upload by yourself to the Google Form link. And try, try to arrange your flight to Taiwan that is departing at least two weeks after. Okay, so please do not make any financial commitment yet. Do not pay for your tickets yet. Do not book for your quarantine hotel yet. Not yet, okay? Because you have to discuss with all ISS teachers first. Please, students. Please do discuss with all ISS teachers first about the time, the appropriate time to book your flight, to book your quarantine hotel in Taiwan. Discuss first before you take any actions, students. Very important, okay? Students, you have to find your own quarantine hotel by yourself. And then you have to pay for the related expenses for staying in the quarantine hotel. Um, the price for uh, the quarantine hotel is estimated between uh, around 30,000 NT, which is about 1,000 US dollars, about 1,000 US dollars around, okay? The price may go up or may go down. It depends on your own choice. So staying in a quarantine hotel may cost you around 1,000 US dollars for a total of eight nights. Eight nights. Why? Because you are going to check in on day zero of your flight arrival in Taiwan. And you will check out on day eight. So which means a total of eight nights at the quarantine hotel. Yes, when you are booking the quarantine hotel, please calculate a total of eight nights in the hotel. Airbnb is not acceptable, okay? No Airbnb. You have to stay in the quarantine hotels approved by the Taiwan government. So book the hotels located in Taipei or in Taoyuan City. Why Taipei or Taoyuan? Because that is close to our Taipei or Taoyuan campus. When you are in emergency, when you need our assistance, we will be able to help you much easily if you are staying in a hotel in Taipei or in Taoyuan city. Please do your best to find a quarantine hotel close to our Taipei or Taoyuan campus. So you have to go through a total of seven day quarantine. Actually, it's eight nights from day zero to day eight. Okay, day zero to day eight, a total of eight nights at the quarantine hotel. In the same, the same quarantine hotel, you cannot move to a different hotel during the quarantine period. No moving to a different hotel. You have to stay in the same location when you, until you complete the quarantine requirement, okay? The same quarantine hotel. The documents for MCU registration. So students, when you are applying for your visa at the Taipei representative office in your country, please at the same time, please have your documents verified by the Taipei office. Verification, very important, okay? We need you to verify your original documents at the embassy. So when you are applying for the visa, please do this together, okay? Please do this verification procedure together when you're applying for the visa. For bachelor students, bachelor, undergraduate, freshman students, what documents do you need to verify? What kind of documents you need to verify? Number one, your original diploma of highest degree or graduation certificate. If you are high school uh, graduate, then you have to verify your high school diploma and also your original transcripts in your high school study, okay? And then if you are transfer students, if you're a college graduate, you already study one or two years in college, and then you are transferring to Minchuan University, then please have your original diploma of highest degree and your college graduation certificate verified by the Taiwan Embassy. And you also need to verify your original transcripts of your high school study and your college study as well. Okay, so for transfer students, you need to verify 
more documents, yes, than others. So for master students, if you're coming to study for master degree, then you have to verify your university diploma. Of course, your university, your bachelor degree diploma, you have to verify it, and also your university study transcripts, you have to verify them. Original documents verification. So if your documents are not in Chinese or not in English version, please make sure you have them translated. You have to translate your documents into English or into Chinese versions. And also you have to verify the translation versions as well, okay? Translation version verification also very important. If your documents are not in English or in Chinese version, okay. Number two, you have to ask your parent or your guardian to sign on the authorization form for emergency treatment. What is this? What is this authorization form for emergency treatment? This document is for us, for Minchuan University, to make an emergent decision on behalf of your parents or your guardians. If you are running into any medical emergency or if you are in accidents, if you are hospitalized, if you need surgeries, very emergent situations, then this document will authorize Minchuan University to make the decision on behalf of your parents and your guardians. So students right now, please, Ask your parents, your guardian, to sign on the authorization form for emergency treatment. You have to write down their contact number. You have to ask them to sign their name on the documents. And you need to bring the document in hard copy, okay? The original document signed by your parent. You have to bring it to Taiwan. Remember this, okay, students? Remember to do this to bring the documents signed by your parents. Bring it to Taiwan. Online orientation, we will do it again. We will meet again uh, in two weeks, yes. We have our online orientation again on August 20th about registration, about payment, about course selection. We know that most, lots of you are co quite concerned about courses, about do I have to take the courses online or do I have to attend the classes in person? How can I make the payment, the tuition payment? How can I register for the new semesters? We will explain all the details on the 30th of August. So please mark it down on your calendar. Okay, mark it down. 30th of August, Tuesday, three o'clock in the afternoon. Yes, afternoon, three o'clock, Taipei time, three o'clock then you can join us on YouTube or on Facebook. We will explain details about registration, about payment, tuition payment, about course selection, okay? On September 1st, we will give you, we will email to you your MCU student ID number, your student system password, your team's ID and password to new students, okay? Yeah, for all the new students, you will be given, uh, I mean, information about your ID number in Minchuan, your student password, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we will email you the information on September first, and you can also download the new foreign students registration procedures and the instructions for tuition fees payment. Okay, you can download the files from our website. Our colleagues, the teachers, will try to upload the information during this week. So you can click, uh, you can click in MCU IEE website. You can see the link down below the page, okay? You click in and the news, and you can find the documents to download. You can read the documents, read the information carefully, and please, Make the payment. Yes, you have to make your tuition payment and upload the proof before October 6th. Yes, before October 6th. 
And then on September 5th, class begins. The fall semester class begins on September 5th. If you are in quarantine or if you are waiting to enter Taiwan, please join Teams online classrooms, okay? Because all the classes will begin on September 5th, Monday. Please contact your departmental or your secretaries, program secretaries, about course information. Don't worry, we will explain in more details on the 30th. During the online orientation, we'll explain in more details how you can check your courses, how you can contact your program secretaries, or how you can join the team's online classrooms. We'll explain to you in details on the, 20, on the 30th, yes, the 30th of August, Tuesday, afternoon, 3 p.m. Taipei time. Join us again, okay? So MCU tuition payment, please, before, uh, you have to pay before the 6th, right? Before the 6th of October, and you have to upload your proof. Yes, upload the proof of your tuition payment to MCU student system before 10 o'clock a.m. Taipei time, 7th of October. You make the payment before the 6th of October, and you upload the proof to MCU student system before 10 a.m. the next morning, 7th of October. Okay, remember this, all right? If you can, please make the payment as soon as possible. Don't wait until the last minute. Don't wait until October, please. Do that when you have the account information of MCU. But we will tell you how you can check your tuition payment form, how much you need to pay, and where or how you can wire the payment to MCU account. We will explain to you on the 30th, yes, the 30th of August, we will tell you how to make your payment, yes, to MCU. <laughs> okay. And before the end of September semester, what is the end of the September semester? The day is January, January 6th. January 6th is the last day of September semester. So before the final day of the September semester, January 6th, please, you have to submit your verified certificates and transcripts, your verified high school or your university diplomas and your Great reports, your transcripts to our academic affairs division in order to complete your registration procedures. Yes. So before the semester ends, please submit your verified documents to the academic office. Please do so. If you do not submit your verified documents, if you forgot or if you fail to submit the verified documents, then your admission will be canceled. Yes, it's possible your admission for this fall semester will be canceled if you forgot to submit your verified documents or if you fail to pay your tuition fee to Minchuan before October. Okay, students, please be uh, reminded of this time deadline. Okay, the following pages will talk about entry procedures to Taiwan. So before departure, what you should do before departure, step number one, you have to log in. You log in quarantine system for entry within 48 hours before you board the flight. Yes, you have to log in the system. This is the link, okay? You can click in and try to get familiar <laughs> with the function of the link, but you have to wait within 48 hours, okay? Within 48 hours, then you can log in to actually fill in your information on the system. When you are entering the data, when you are entering the data of your arrival information, please be careful, okay? Check the data accuracy. Okay, don't make any mistake. Don't key in any error. Don't do that. 
<laughs> Please make sure the information you key in is accurate. So you can complete the online declaration, okay? When you arrive in Taiwan, you can turn on your mobile phone and also the Wi-Fi function of your mobile phone. And then your mobile will receive an uh, electronic health declaration receipt by text message, yes. So upon your arrival, you turn on your mobile phone and Wi-Fi function, you will receive a text message about your electronic health declarations, okay? And you also, you have to buy a Taiwan mobile number, a Taiwan SIM card. You have to purchase a SIM card at the airport when you arrive in Taiwan. If you are under 18 years old, if you say, okay, teachers, I'm so young, I'm not 18 years old yet, okay? Please let us know, let us know. We will help you, we'll explain to you because we need additional documents from your parents, from your guardian, if you are under 18, okay? If you're under 18, write email to us, write email to OISS teachers, tell the teachers, I am blah, 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 I'm under 18 years old. Please help me. Uh, please explain to me, how can I prepare the documents to buy a SIM card in Taiwan? Okay, so before you leaving your house, before you leaving your place to the airport, please do double check that you bring the following documents with you to the airport before you leave your home, okay? You need your passport, and you need your student entry permit, entry permit certificate. We will email this to you, the entry permit certificate. When you receive this, you have to print it, color print it on A4 paper. Yes, A4 paper size. You have to color print your entry permit certificate. Please do not change the paper size. It's a very strict regulation. A4 paper print out your entry permit certificate, okay? And you can also save the file on your mobile phone. You save the file on your mobile phone and you print it out on A4 papers. Number three, your visa, your Taiwan visa is actually sticked inside your passport. Number four, if you are under age 18, please, you need to bring a parental consent letter and copies of your parents' ID cards because you need to purchase a Taiwan Telecom SIM card. We need the consent letter from your parents or your guardians because if you are under age of 18. Number five, you need to bring some cash. Yes, cash in NT dollars or foreign currency or US dollars, credit cards as well. You need to prepare your own credit cards. So make sure that your mobile phone and your credit cards can be used for international travel and in Taiwan. You need to check with the telephone company and the credit card companies in your home country first. You give them a call and tell them you are coming to study in Taiwan in September. You need to make sure that your mobile phone and your credit cards can be used for international travel. In especially if you are coming from Japan. Yes, if you are Japanese students, or if you are coming from the US, or if you are coming from the European countries, sometimes in some cases, your mobile phones are locked. Your mobile phones are limited for the use in your home country only. So if you are coming from Japan, from Europe, from the US countries, please make sure with your phone companies with your credit cards companies in advance, give them a call right now or tomorrow morning. Ask them, can I use it when I'm traveling internationally or when I'm traveling to Taiwan? Please do this by yourself, okay? And this is the page for the quarantine system for entry. And the OISS teachers will tell you step by step how you can fill in this quarantine system for entry. So don't panic. You will be assisted 
as long as you are staying in touch with all SS teachers through Line app. When you are keying your hotel information, your quarantine hotel code, and you have to carefully select the item, the information about your quarantine hotel. So when you are making a reservation, you need to find a qualified quarantine hotel because a qualified quarantine hotel should have a code, a special code for quarantine hotel purpose. Without the code, that hotel is not acceptable for quarantine purpose for international students. In Taiwan, we have different types of hotels. Regular hotels, that's for regular stay. Quarantine hotels for special purpose for international students who are entering Taiwan. You have to stay in quarantine hotels approved by the Taiwan government. So when you are booking a hotel, please make sure you find a qualified quarantine hotel with the code number, okay? It's actually five digits, okay? 03027, something like that, okay? You should find the quarantine hotel code when you're making the reservation. Okay, landing in Taiwan. Uh, during your flights, when you're on the airplanes, please wear your mask. And wear your mask all the time during the entire journey and fully charge your mobile phone fully charge okay you make sure that your mobile phone is fully charged and eat well yes eat well and use the toilet when you are i mean on the plants yeah we're serious okay use the toilet and eat well charge your mobile phone during your journey to taiwan the moment you exit the plan Airplane mode off, Wi-Fi function on, okay? The moment you leave the aircraft, please turn off your airplane mode of your mobile phone and you switch on your Wi-Fi function. Because the moment you leave the aircraft, you have to line report to OISS teachers. You tell them, this is Ivy, I already the, I left the aircraft. I just landed in Taiwan safely. So send a message, a line mess, message to all ISS teachers. Tell them you just landed. All right. And then you have to find the representatives of the Ministry of Education of Taiwan government. The representatives will be holding a welcome board with MOE logo. You can see a welcome board with a logo. What is, I mean, the MOE logo looks like? You see uh, the picture on the page with a small green tree? Yeah, that's the logo for MOE. You just find the welcome board with the logo. You approach them, introduce yourself. Tell them, oh, this is Ivy, I'm coming from blah, blah, blah. Okay, then the representatives will assist you a step-by-step -step for the following entry procedures. So make sure you find the MOI representatives. You have to find them. You cannot go through the customs by yourself. No, you have to be assisted by the MOI representatives at the airport. So remember, report yourself to the MOE representatives at the airport, okay? Find the logo when you leave the aircraft. And then you have to purchase a Taiwan mobile phone number, a SIM card, and the price is about $500, about 500 NT for 10 days package with unlimited data. Unlimited data for 10 days, about 500 NT. You can buy it at the airport, okay? At the telecom service provider at the airport. If you can choose, if it's possible for you to choose different package, Yes, you can try to uh, purchase a package of a longer period. If you can choose, you can buy uh, the SIM card for 30 days or for 60 days, okay, as long as you can, all right? But if you cannot choose, please, at least, you have to purchase a SIM card package with 
a list of 10 days. Yes, 10 days package with unlimited data. All right. The next page will explain to you how to change your SIM card to Taiwan SIM card, okay, to Taiwan mobile phone number. Then you have to complete the quarantine system for entry and your mobile phone will receive a text message and you screenshot, yes, you screenshot your mobile message. For all these steps, please stay in touch with OISS teachers through Line app. So this page explains to you the steps, how you can change your SIM card to Taiwan mobile SIM card, all right? You just follow the step, I mean the step, and remove the SIM card from your home country. Please make sure your mobile phone only has one SIM card, which is the Taiwan SIM card. Taiwan mobile SIM card, only one SIM card in your mobile phone. Please don't, Put in two SIM cards. Otherwise, there might be some signal collision. Okay, signal collision may happen if you have two SIM cards in your mobile phone. So during the quarantine, please make sure you only have one SIM card, the Taiwan mobile SIM card in your mobile phone. Okay. Then turn on your mobile phone, your Wi-Fi function, and Again, your mobile phone will receive a text message and electronic health declaration receipt will be sent to your mobile phone via text message. Then you have to go through the CDC inspection station. You show your passport and the text message, the string shot for the quarantine system for entry. You show them to the personnel and you have to show them your quarantine hotel reservation proof book by yourself, okay? So you print it out, print out your hotel res reservation uh, documents. You print it out in hard copy so you can show it to the CDC inspection staff. Then you go through your personal and hand carry on items checkpoint. And then you can uh, do the foreign currency exchange. Yes, you have to change your money into NT dollars. You're going to use NT dollars cash. I mean, around 10,000, around 10,000, which is approximately 300 US dollar. If you can, please change the money in your home country, in your departure airport first. If you can, change your currency into NTD cash, okay? Otherwise, you will expect a long waiting time for money exchange when you arrive in Taiwan airport. Okay, if you forgot to change money in your home country or in your departure airport, you may have to wait for a long time for money exchange when you arrive in Taiwan. And when you are waiting, we're sorry that you cannot eat, yes. You cannot eat while waiting at the airport. That's why we told you, you have to eat well, okay? Eat well on flights. Make sure you eat well on flights. Otherwise, you may feel hungry when you are waiting at the airport. Use your credit cards to pay for the expenses or open a bank account in Taiwan after you entering the campus, okay? So how much you need to change into NT dollar cash? About 10,000 NT, around 10,000 NT. An immigration checkpoint is the next step. Immigration checkpoint. You have to show your passport, your visa, your overseas student entry permit certificate, and your arrival card. What is arrival card? You can obtain the arrival card on the plan from the flight attendants or after landing at the airport. Yes, the arrival car. You can collect it during the flight from the flight attendants or you can pick it up at the Taiwan airport when you land. You need to complete the arrival card and write down your Taiwan mobile number when you purchase the mobile number. Please write it down on the arrival card. You have to show the arrival card to the immigration checkpoint as well together with your quarantine hotel reservation proof. Print it out in a hard copy. Yes, print out your hotel 
reservation in hard copy documents. Then the next step, claim your baggage. Yes, your baggage, your check-in baggage, just in case if you're traveling from European countries or from Central America or from the States, if you need to transfer. Because you need you have connecting flights, right? You need to transit or transfer because of con connecting flights. Sometimes your luggage, yes, your checking lug luggage may not arrive <laughs> because of the busy, you know, busy flight uh, schedule at the airport. So just in case, please pack lightly with you, with your hand luggage. Pack light. I mean lightly. Okay, when you arrive in Taiwan, in case your checking luggage does not come together with your flight, yes, just in case, if you are from far away, if you are coming from、uh, the Central America or from the European countries, please pack lightly your daily necessities like、uh, some、uh, some some clothes or socks or underwear. Okay, just for a few days, so you can have. A clean clothes to wear when you are in the quarantine hotel. Pack lightly. Purchase a Taiwan Mobile SIM card. If you are over eighteen years old, you need to show your passport and your boarding pass. Yes, to purchase a Taiwan Mobile number. As we just mentioned, you need to choose a SIM package. Valid for ten days at least, for ten days or longer period if you can choose, including unlimited data. Okay, and make sure that your mobile phone is compatible with Taiwan Telephone SIM card. So you have to call your mobile phone company in your home country. You tell them you're going to have international travel. You'll be in Taiwan for future study. You need to make sure that your mobile phone can be used. In Taiwan, check if you are from Japan, U.S. or Europe. On the airplanes, during your flight, during the journey, fully charge your mobile phone. And when landing, please make sure that you change to Taiwan Mobile SIM card and you remove the original SIM card from your home country. And make sure again that your mobile phone is on twenty four seven. Okay, during your quarantine period in the hotel, CDC inspection station. You have to show them your passport and your health declaration receipt. The screenshot on your mobile phone. Yes, the screenshot on your mobile phone. You show them and show them your passport and also your quarantine hotel reservation proof. The documents of the quarantine hotel reservation. At the CDC inspections, any questions or you have any concerns, you have to let us know. Okay, you can tell or assist teachers. Ask for assistance. Personal and hand carrying items checkpoint. Okay, this is serious. Okay, don't bring restricted items from abroad. Okay, the following items are strictly prohibited. From bringing into Taiwan, meat, fresh fruits, vegetables, marine products, plants, seeds, hot dog or sandwich from airplane. Please don't bring anything from the airplane. No garlic, no hot dog, no meat floss. Okay, no sprouting seeds, no vegetables, no fresh fruits, no meat. Okay, so students, eat well. Finish your food. Finish your sandwich. Finish your meal on your plan. Don't bring them entering the Taiwan. Okay, don't do that. Otherwise, you will be penalized with a very high price. Okay, don't do that. Okay, students, don't do that. You can bring masks. Yes, if you want, you can bring masks from home. However, it is very convenient. Yes, and it's very affordable to buy masks in Taiwan. For fifty pieces of masks, that cost around three hundred NT, which is very affordable. Okay, the price is very reasonable. So if you want, you can bring maybe ten masks, maybe ten masks from home. And for the rest of your stay in Taiwan, you can just easily, very convenient, 
convenient to find to buy masks in Taiwan, and it's very affordable price. And also, in your personal luggage, in your hand carry luggage, please remember to bring your electronic thermometer, electronic thermometer, and some personal medication. Yes, some personal medication such as fever, headache, stomach ache, pain relievers, etc. Because you can take medicine during the quarantine if needed. All right. So remember to bring your own personal medication from home, and also your personal electronic thermometer. Please pack this in your hand carry-on luggage. Okay, bring them with you to Taiwan. Foreign currency exchange in the airport control area. You can change money into Taiwan dollars for about ten thousand. Dollars, ten thousand Taiwan dollars, which is around three hundred US dollars. Okay, you can change them in the airport. But as we mentioned, if it's possible, please do the money exchange in your home country in your departure airport first. If you are in Asia, if you are coming flying from Asian countries, yes, you can easily change money into NT dollars at your home country airport. It is possible to change into NT dollars in Asian countries airport. Okay. Immigration checkpoint. At the immigration, you have to show them your passport, your visa, your overseas student entry permit certificate, printed on A4 size paper. Remember, you have to print your entry permit certificate, color printed. On A4 size paper, number four, your arrival card. You can obtain your arrival card on the plane from the flight、uh, from the flight attendants. Number five, your quarantine hotel reservation proof. You need to show these five documents at the immigration checkpoints, and also stay in touch with all ISS teachers through Line app. Okay. Also at the airport. You have to take a COVID nineteen PCR deep throat saliva samples. Okay, you will be assisted to take this sample at the airport, and also you will be given two at home rapid test kits at the airport. You keep them safely. Don't lose them. Okay, keep your home test kits safely. Otherwise, you have to buy additional ones on your own expenses. And then you will be assisted to take a quarantine taxi or a specially arranged vehicle to your quarantine hotel. You follow the instructions of MOI representatives at the airport. Please do not use public transportation. You cannot take the metro, okay, to the hotel. You have to use quarantine taxi or specially arranged vehicle. To checking your hotel. Or in Keelung City, please pay one thousand, one thousand NT cash. Okay, cash only. One thousand cash directly to the car,、uh, car driver. The existed amount. If the price is more than one thousand, don't worry, don't panic. Okay. The existed amount will be covered by Taiwan government. Yay! The existed amount you don't need to pay if it's over one thousand dollars. You only pay one thousand directly to the car driver from the airport to your quarantine hotel. Yes, one thousand directly cash to the taxi driver, and then the driver will take you to checking your hotel, your quarantine hotel. And then you have to download Disease Containment Expert app to your mobile phone so that you can monitor, you can report your daily health condition. Get through Line app during three day home quarantine period. You need to use Disease Containment Expert app on your mobile phone 
to report your health condition. If you are showing any symptoms of fever or any symptoms or respiratory symptoms during the quarantine period, students, you have to inform MCU or you can call 1922 hotline for instructions or assistance. Yes, but anyway, when you have any symptoms, if you need any assistance, contact OISS teachers first. OISS teachers will be your first contact window. Line text them, okay? Then, during your four-day self-initiated epidemic, epidemic prevention period, please take your daily temperature and send a picture shot to OISS teachers via Line app, yes. You have to tell the teachers how you're feeling today, what is your body temperature for today, from day four to day seven. You have to daily screenshot your body temperature and line text to OISS teachers. If, I mean, just in case, if you are showing any symptoms, symptoms of fever or runny noses or sore throat, please, you can take a rapid test in the morning, okay? Take the test in the morning, home test kit in the morning. If the result is positive, please contact MCU, contact OISS teachers right away, okay? Do the test in the morning so we can help you in the daytime, okay? If you're doing the test, during the late hour or during the midnight, everyone is in sleep, right? Everyone is in deep sleep. How can we help you? How can we reply to your text message? If you need our help, please contact us during the regular hours when we are awake, okay? So do the rapid test in the morning if it's necessary. And then you can take your rapid test on day seven before you move out, before you check out your quarantine hotel. I mean, the final day. Day seven, you take the rapid test. If the result is negative, you can move into MCU of campus dormitory or your private apartment on day eight. Yes. If the result of your home test kit is negative, you're healthy as usual, then you can check out the hotel. You can move into Minchuan of Campus Dormitory on day eight morning hours. Yes, morning hours, you can check out. Again, the day of arrival counts as day zero. After you complete a total of seven day quarantine period, you can move into MCU of Campus Dormitory or your private apartment on day eight morning hours. Uh, this is the link to uh, the Disease Containment Expert app. You need to use this app to daily report your health condition during the three-day quarantine period. Day one, day two, day three. Daily report your health condition through this line app. Bring your electronic thermometer and bring your own personal medication, okay? Remember, this is very important. Bring your own medication. If you are showing any symptoms of fever, running noses, headache, sore throat, stomach ache, any pain, please take your medicine immediately. You can take your own medicine during the quarantine, okay? It's okay to take the medicine during the quarantine period. And then if you're really feeling unwell, feeling sick, please tell us. You can tell OISS teachers immediately through Line app. So during your seven day quarantine period, can you go outside? After entering Taiwan, students will have to go through a three day home quarantine and a four day self initiated epidemic prevention for a total of seven day quarantine period in the same location. During the three day home quarantine, day zero to day three, you are not allowed to go outside. You are not allowed to go outside from day zero to day three. During the day four self-initiated epidemic prevention, day four to day seven, 
students cannot attend classes on campuses, and you have to avoid going outside unless necessary. A negative result from an at-home rapid test taken within two days should be presented if you need to go out or if you need to buy daily necessities. Masks must be worn at all times when outside, and social distancing must be maintained. Please return to your quarantine hotel soon after the protest. Please refrain from eating outside. You can bring the food back to your home room. I mean, your hotel room. Sorry, bring the food back to your hotel room. Please avoid going to crowded venues. Or contact with unspecific persons. Okay, this is very important. This page for your own attention. Don't break the rules. Don't violate the regulations of Taiwan government. Otherwise, you will face a high penalty. Yes, if you violate any of the regulations, you will be fined heavily. The day of flight arrival comes at day zero. Okay, you can move out, check out the hotel on day eight. On day eight morning, please ask your hotel receptionist to arrange a regular taxi for you. Yes, on day eight morning, you're healthy, no problem. You can check out your hotel room, and you need to. Ask your hotel reception to help you to arrange a regular taxi to the dormitory or to your private apartment. And the fees, the taxi fees, are charged by meters by distance. You can pay cash directly to the car driver. Okay. So the following information we already talked about. We mentioned about this several times already, so I'm not going to repeat them. So just read it. How much do you need? Yes, important. How much? Number one for MCU tuition fees and insurance for one semester. I mean per semester, it is estimated around fifty-five thousand to sixty thousand NT per semester. You can pay cash at MCU campus, or you can transfer. Your tuition fees to MCU University Bank account. We will provide the bank account soon, so you can download the information from our website, from IEE Office website news. You can download the bank account information and make the payment by bank transfer. Number two, day zero to day eight quarantine hotel. It is estimated between eighteen thousand to thirty thousand for staying in quarantine hotel, and you can pay directly to hotels in cash or in credit cards. Number three, your dormitory or maybe your private apartment costs. If you are staying in the dormitory, you need to pay nine thousand six hundred to twenty one thousand six hundred per semester. So it depends on your room type. Okay, the price is a little bit different. Depends on your room type: three person, four person, or five person per room. You can pay your dormitory fee at the convenience store, Seven Eleven, or Family Mart on campus, or you can pay cash at the cashier's office in Mintrang campus, or you can transfer your dormitory fees to MCU University Bank account. Number four, number five is for your. Phone,、uh, phone car, your Taiwan mobile SIM car, and also your taxi costs. Okay, your taxi from airport to hotel, or your taxi from hotel to your dormitory or apartment. You can pay cash at the airport or pay cash directly to the car driver. Number six, your new student health checkup at MCU campus. That is around five hundred fifty. Around for one time. Okay, you can pay cash at MCU campus. Number seven, alien certificate. Yeah, you're all degree seeking students. You have to apply for alien resident card, ARC card, and the application fee is around 
five hundred to two thousand six hundred per year. It depends. Okay, but, but we will tell you how you can apply for this ARC card online. We'll explain in more details later. Number eight, your personal living expenses for the semester in Taiwan, which cost around fifty four thousand to seventy two thousand. Per semester, so it depends on your own living expenses. It may go up, may go down. Everyone is a little bit different. So total estimate for studying for a semester in Mintra University in Taiwan, you need to prepare one hundred forty thousand to one hundred ninety thousand NT dollars. Okay. Q and A. Yeah, we're coming to our. Final pages, question and answers. First of all, I like to remind you when you are staying in touch with OISS teachers through Line app, please text them in regular hours. What do you mean by regular hours? Eight a.m. until ten p.m. Yes, Taipei time. Eight a.m. until ten p.m. Please, you can ask for information or assistance during regular hours. Unless it's an emergency, <laughs> if you're really, I mean, I mean, stuck at the airport during the late midnight hours, emergency, you can text OISS teachers, no problem. Okay, emergency only during late hours. So, question number one: Should I get vaccinated before entering Taiwan? Okay, the answer you see it here. Please follow your government vaccine policy. Please be reminded that students still need to follow the entry procedures, which is seven-day quarantine period, and pandemic prevention measures formulated by Taiwan government, even if you were vaccinated fully. Okay, it doesn't matter if you are fully vaccinated or you only receive one or two shots in your home country. The moment you enter Taiwan, you still have to go through a total of seven-day quarantine period. Day zero to day eight, actually is eight nights, right? But we call it the seven-day quarantine period. You have to go through the quarantine requirement when you enter Taiwan, no matter what. For the moment in Taiwan, you have to wear masks in public areas. Yes, all people wear masks in the public areas, and we maintain social distance. Okay. Can I get vaccinated in Taiwan? Yes, it is possible. But first of all, you have to prepare a proof of COVID next vaccination record from your home country. If you are vaccinated in your home country, please prepare a proof of COVID vaccination from your home country. After entering Taiwan, you can register at a local health center nearby for vaccination shots. So it is possible. Do we have all the lectures in person or online? Students will have lectures in person, face to face. Yes, in classrooms. That is why we are trying our best to help you to complete the help the entry procedures and the quarantine requirement before the semester begins on September fifth. So please, the next question is: Can I take the Lectures online for the entire semester. Of course not. You have to enter Taiwan as soon as possible. You cannot take the lectures online for the entire semester. All the students must report to MCU campus and attend classes in person. Okay, you cannot do the courses online through the entire semester. No, you cannot do that. You have to. Report to Mintran campus in September, or maybe delay a little bit for a few weeks because of the quarantine requirement. If you are not able to enter Taiwan, please do not make tuition payment. If you would like to postpone, if you would like to delay your admission to the next semester, the spring semester, for example, please let us know. You can tell us, teachers. I think I'm too late. I'm going. Not, I'm not going to make it for the fall semester. I would like to delay. I would like to postpone my admission to next year. Please email contact us. Let us know your decision. Okay. 
Can I book a hotel or flight now? No, not yet. Do not book any flight or quarantine hotel at this stage. However, it is okay to do some research in advance. You can search for related information on websites now. Searching, no harm. Okay, you can do some homework. Searching is okay. Please do not make any financial commitments until you have discussion with OISS teachers about your flight, about your quarantine hotel booking. You have to discuss with OISS teachers first before you making any booking. Okay, students, please pay attention. Contact OISS teachers before you make any bookings. If renting a private apartment during my stay in Taiwan, you tell the house owner that you will move in after completing seven-day quarantine period. You cannot check the conditions of the apartment during the quarantine period because you are not allowed to go outside, right? So you have to stay in a quarantine hotel until you complete the quarantine requirement. Taiwan is one of the countries with strict border restrictions and complicated entry procedures around the world, as you can understand so far. So if you fail to abide by the regulations, you will be fined, ranging from 10,000 to 150,000 NT. Yes, which is a very high amount, very heavy penalty if you violate the regulations of Taiwan government. So please stay in touch with OIS's teachers. We will help you step by step. Question the final question If I am tested positive with COVID when entering Taiwan or during the quarantine period, what will happen to me? If at the airport, you will be directly taken to a hospital or a concentrated quarantine hotel for further treatment. If you are showing symptoms of fever or runny nose or sore throat or headache, any symptoms during the quarantine period at the hotel, at the quarantine hotel, you can take your personal medication right away. Yes, please take your medicine, medicine, your personal medicine, to ease your symptoms. Maybe after you've taken the medicine, you feel well again. You feel healthy again. All right. If you're really feeling unwell, feeling really sick, please contact us. You contact OIS, OISS teachers. You tell the teachers that you're feeling really sick, and you will be assisted to. Uh, to be transported to a hospital or to be taken to a concentrated hotel for further treatment. After your treatment, seven day treatment at the hotel, I mean, concentrated quarantine hotel or at a hospital, you need to complete additional seven day health seven-day self-health management, yes. And this additional seven-day self-health management hotel is booked by yourself and paid by yourself, yes. That's why, please, stay healthy. Don't get sick, okay? Protect yourself well. For a total of 14 days, you will not be able to enter campuses if you are showing positive. I mean, if you are showing any symptoms, if you are tested positive, you will not be able to enter the campus for a total of 14 days. So do take good care of yourself before traveling to Taiwan. Protect yourself. And remember the final reminder for you in the pink color, which is the most important. Please bring your own electronic thermometer and your own personal medication for fever, for runny nose, for sore throat, for headache, for, for backache, for any kinds of pain you may have, okay? Bring your personal medicine and take your medicine during the quarantine to ease your symptoms if needed. Okay, students, this is the final page. 
All right, I see lots of comments and questions, I believe. Uh, is there anything else we would like to, we need to emphasize or we need to uh, explain further? Uh, I would like to invite Nancy. Miss Nancy, would you like to add something? Can I invite you to the screen, Nancy? Can you please not if you would like to be invited to the screen? Okay, good. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear okay. you. Okay, Alan. good. Uh, I'm Nancy. I believe, I believe most of you already received my emails, a lot of emails from me. Okay, just one thing I need, because Miss Ivy explained everything very, very detailed, very, very clear. Okay, I would like you to uh, check the YouTube, check the video later on again. Okay, later on again for the entry process. And, but I need to emphasize just one thing, just one thing that, because you are, all of you are coming to Taiwan with a special, special entry issued by the Ministry of Education. So your, uh, your quarantine regulations is different from the others, from Taiwanese, from people who are holding ARC residents here in Taiwan. So I believe that some of you have friends or relatives here that say that, oh, my quarantine is three plus four. And the four, for the four days, I can go back to my, to, to do the four days uh, in a room only. I can leave the hotel. No, I'm sorry. You are entering Taiwan with this special entry. So the regulations set by the Ministry of Education. So you will have to follow this regulation that you can only choose any hotels, any quarantine hotels, government approved hotels in Taipei, Taoyuan, or new Taipei city. That would be fine, okay? Quarantine, government, quarant uh, government approved quarantine hotels. You can uh, only do your quarantine and the four days uh, initiative, self, self initiative, epidemic. epidemic prevention in, in the quarantine hotel in total, including your arrival date in total for eight days. Okay. For eight days after you complete this process, you may, if you're okay, if you have no symptoms, you feel fine, then you may just admit it to your, to the door. You may just check out on your ninth day. Okay. On your ninth day, and you may check into the door or to your rental place. Okay, so is there any question regarding this? Because a lot of students ask me about the new regulations that is established just a few days ago. Uh, but that's not for you. I'm sorry, that's not for you. It's your entry with a special entry. So you have to stay in the quarantine dorm for eight days. Okay, any more questions? Okay, you don't you okay right now the the um there's no need to do the PCR test 48 hours before your entry. Okay. So there's no need for to, to do that anymore. Your sister picked me up from the hotel to help me to move. You mean after you finish your complete your quarantine? Yes. After you complete your quarantine, you can ask your family, friends to pick you up, to take you to your, to the dorm or to the rental place. Okay. Any more questions? Oh, I would like to answer one question. Uh, I noticed that uh, some students do ask about uh, dormitory, about uh, their dormitory reservation. I mean, Min Chuan student dormitory. So for those students who apply to stay in MCU dormitories, don't worry, we will make reservations for you. We will keep your rooms until you complete your quarantine requirement. You will be able to move in your student dormitories as soon as you complete your quarantine requirements, okay? So for students who would like to stay, who already applied to stay in MCU of campus student dormitory during the semester, don't worry, we will keep your rooms until you finish, you're allowed to 
come out. Okay, when you finish your quarantine requirements, you will be able to move in your dormitory rooms. All right. Okay, but if you、uh, check in the dorm late, I'm sorry, there's no dormitory fee refund for that. But we will keep it for you. Okay, we will keep it for you until you come, until you come and check in. Okay. Yes, Miss Nancy just mentioned about the price for the dormitory. It is a set price per semester. There's no discount or no installment or no separate the price.、Mm -hmm. The dorm room is kept for you for the entire semester, so the dorm price is fixed. You cannot request for refund because of your late arrival for late checking. There's no discount for late checking for the staying in the MCU student dormitory. If the price for the dormitory is, for example, one thousand NT, I mean,、uh, sorry, twenty thousand NT per semester. For staying in a dormitory, twenty thousand and T, for example, for the semester, then everyone pay twenty thousand per semester. Everyone pay the same amount of dormitory fee to the Minchuan University. You cannot request for refund or request for discount for late arrival, late check in. No discount for the dormitory fees. Okay, we hope that you understand about this policy of the university. It is a fixed price for staying in the student dormitory of Minchuan University. So we noticed that、uh, the student asking about the sample for the authorization form for emergency treatment. Oh、uh, yeah, you can download it from our website from IEE Office Website News. You can download a sample for the authorization form for emergency treatment that should be signed by your parents or your guardians. You can download the format from our website, IEE website. Please download it by yourself. So those international students, you will be accommodated in off-campus dormitory, off-campus dormitories for international students only. Okay. So、uh, one student asked about how do we know that rooms, the dormitories, are reserved for all of us? All of us, we guarantee dormitories for international students, for new international students. We guarantee dormitories. So as long as you apply online, you already fill in your request for dormitory through the MCU application system, right? You click to apply for the dormitory through the system, then we will reserve the dormitories for you. Okay, students. Once you receive your visa, please email us your visa picture and your passport picture too. Okay, both documents, so um, passport and visa pictures. Okay, in one email. Thank you. So. If you are staying in Taoyuan campus, if you are staying in Taoyuan campus, you can choose to stay、uh, to stay in on-campus dormitory or on off-campus dormitory. In Taoyuan campus, we provide on-campus and off-campus dormitory for international students. So you can choose which kind of dormitories we would like to stay for Taoyuan campus students only. On or off campus dormitories. If your major is JMC in Taipei, please stay in Taipei off campus dormitory. Okay, don't travel. You don't want to travel for two hours one way from Taoyuan to Taipei. The tr transportation time. Between the campuses may take around two hours one way. So please, if you belong to Taipei campus majors, Taipei campus、uh, programs, please 
stay in off-campus dormitory in Taipei. If you are studying in Taoyuan campus programs, please stay in Taoyuan campus dormitory on or off campus dormitories. About course selections, we will explain to you how on, on the 30th of August, yes, the next online orientation will take place on the 30th of August. Two weeks from now, please join us again on 30th of August. We will explain to you how to select your courses, how to check your course syllabus. So what is the longest I can do online lectures if the visa process takes longer? Please, all the students, you have to report to Mintran University within six weeks, within six weeks of the new semester beginnings, which means before 14th of October, before the mid of October, you have to enter the campus before 14th of October. After that, you will be, not be able to take the courses online. So until then, we have two weeks to prepare for your entry procedures, which is quite enough, okay? So all the students, you have to enter Taiwan, attend the classes as soon as you can. Don't wait, okay? Don't, you don't want to do the online courses forever, right? This is so complicated. <laughs> you would like to meet your, your classmates in person face-to-face -face in your classrooms, right? That's more fun, more interesting, more interaction with your class. So please attend the classes, please report, please arrive in Taiwan as soon as you can. So Nancy, I saw that Carol asked about, do I have to enter Taiwan from my home country? Nancy, did you saw that? Did you see it? Carol, do I have to enter Taiwan from my home country? Uh, I'm sorry, what do you mean by that? You mean that you're not in your home country right now? Oh, maybe Carol, please email your question to us, okay? Carol. Email your question to us. Tell us why. Why are you concerned about entering Taiwan from your home country or from a different country? Please tell us where you are at the moment. Carol? Yeah, please okay. email to us. I'll reply to you. Okay. And Tiana, Tiana asks, is the dormitory fee paid annually or semesterly? Semester, by semester. Okay. The dormitory fee is paid by semester. So, uh, so is the tuition fees. By semester, dormitory fee, tuition fees, insurance fee, blah blah blah. Everything is by semester in Mintran University. Carol, please write an email to me. I'll I explain to you, okay? Because uh, once you actually once you give us students when after you give us your passport and visa, we need to help you to apply for your entry permit. An entry permit on the entry permit, we need to write the, the uh, your the, current your, location. Yeah, your current location. So we need to confirm with you later on. So please email to us. I'll double confirm with you, okay, thank you. Any more questions regarding the entry?
Students, if you cannot enter Taiwan on time, that's okay. For the orientation and registration, we will do that walking registration and walking orientation. So don't worry about the registration and orientation on the August 29th. Okay, don't worry about that part. But don't delay your entry because of personal, personal reasons. Yeah, personal reasons. Okay, so uh, once you receive your visa, once you obtain your visa, please contact us directly right away. We will contact you, okay, within a day. And then we will start to discuss which day you would be able to come to Taiwan. So please do not delay your entry, okay? After you have your, after you send us your passport and visa, we will email to you the line QR code, the line link, okay? Yes, please send the visa and passport to both me, Nancy, and Miss Crystal. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> because I have received a lot of emails every day. So just in case I missed your email, but Miss Crystal, if she's received your email, we will double confirm. Okay, so we won't miss your email. Okay, for how many test kits you can bring to? Taiwan, you need to confirm with your airline whether there's a limitation of that or not. If there's no quarantine hotel, I'm sorry, we'll have to delay for your entry, okay? Because you've got to have a quarantine hotel in order for you to enter Taiwan. Okay, for the online classes, I, um, Miss Ivy already explained that that on August thirtieth, they will explain they will have another orientation. Okay, explaining online classes and registration, and everything and courses. Okay. If you have not received the offer letter, please email the admission office to confirm with them. Or actually, I think you can download your own offer letter on your application system to Bing Chuan. So students, if there's no further questions, then we will end our online orientation today. You keep in touch with us by emails, okay? Try to get your visa right away. Get your Taiwan visa right away and you contact OIS's teachers by emailing your passport and your visa page, okay? Then you will be invited to join LINE with OIS's teachers. After you receive your Taiwan visa, you will be able to join the line group with OIS's. So Gray, YT, please log in your MCU application system and download your offer letter. You should know where to download your documents via the MCU online application. and our orientation and we will see you again online on the 20th, the 30th 30 yes the 30th of august tuesday tuesday 10 in the morning for chinese session three o'clock in the afternoon for english session three o'clock in the afternoon taipei time for english session so students thank you for your attention okay bye 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 Bye.